We're now having with us Carla Machado. Carla is a dear friend, yes. Um, she is the Deputy Secretary General of Prenatal Alliance, Madame. She is the founder of and president of ANEP Brazil, which is the National Association for Prenatal Education. Prenatal education meaning what the mother teaches the baby in the womb. She is the great educator, correct? Yes. Okay. And um, since 2010, she founded the ANEP Brazil. She's also an astrologer, a transpersonal psychotherapist, and a prenatal educator. She worked as a system analyst for 12 years at IBM and changed gears after the birth of her first child to become a facilitator of women's group who work with fairy tales. Remember those women who run with wolves? That's what she does. So she's going to talk to us today about the emotional health of preg pregnant women as a shaper of the future adult and of civilization. You have the floor. No, 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 no. Okay. Hi, guys. <laughs> she wanted to change with me, but it's okay. <laughs> so to start, I'd like to share a little bit about my personal story, because I think it will give the floor to my talk. Uh, as Laura said, I am an astrologer. So I entered in the birth uh, field because of astrology. You know, many of you who already did your astro chart, your natal chart, you know that it's calculated according to the time of birth and precisely uh, the time, minute, and also the, the latitude and longitude where you live, so the city. So it's totally centered on the moment of birth. And looking at the chart, we can understand a lot of things about ourselves. It's like a map, really a map where we can uh, develop ourselves better, or the tools we received to to work in this life, in this this time life. So it's very good to study. But once the chart is is designed according according to the the moment of birth, so I thought mm, maybe I should stud study a little bit better about birth. <laughs> And so I got in the, into this subject. It was uh, maybe 1996. And yeah, even before 1992, I think. And I first uh, studied, started studying astrology. And then 1994, I entered on the, the field of birth. And it's 40 years from now, I'm too old. <laughs> so yeah, it has been a path. And... It is uh, this magical moment of birth that it is also a fractal of the conception. I know Marcy talked a little bit about that, but I would like to explain a little bit with the image of a fractal, you know, like a cauliflower. Uh, when you take a little piece of a cauliflower and you still find a little cauliflower. So everything from the conception is reflected on the birth. So on the astral chart, you can always read how was the conception, how was the pregnancy. And we can study the beginning and also not only understand what happened to someone, but once we know the importance of this period, we can work on that. We can prevent. Uh, maybe we, we cannot choose the special conditions. Sometimes life comes and brings some gifts, like a nice storm, like a nice husband, as Marcy said. But there's, there's a power, there's a, a, an inner pow power on the pregnant women. We can always connect to our centers. We can always connect to ourselves. So uh, it depends, um, the, the influence um, nature gave to pregnant women. It's not, sometimes people get mad. Oh, it's all on, on us. Now we have another thing on our, on our, on our lap. We have to take care. 
And Dr. Hakan also said, why professionals of birth we will we, we interfere? Of course, but the most, in, the biggest interference, it's not during the birth, it's the, in the conception. But of course, we can also, we can always add uh, a layer on that. So of course, we, what we're going to do in birth will matter a lot throughout life. But it's, it's something that is already, that has already started. So if we focus on this power women have, it's not that I am giving this power to women. When we talk about that, that people get mad with us at ANAP Brazil, at Prenatal Alliance sometimes, it's not that we are creating this idea. We're just informing. The idea is there. The power is there. You can use how the, the way you, you, you like, or you cannot, you can choose not to use it, but it's already a choice not to use it. So you can uh, uh, live to the life, you know, I'm, I'm sad or I am poor or something bad is happening, but okay. But the way you relate to these difficulties or to these facilities, to the environment, the way the pregnant woman relate to that, that will shape the future adult. So we as a whole society, we have to be around, we have to be there, not to support in a way that she, that the pregnant woman is weak. No, it's the opposite. It's because of the power she has that you have to, to yeah, Marcy said, with power comes responsibility. Yeah. And I, uh, as an astrology, I will talk about the planet today. Today is Saturday. So it's Saturn day. And Saturn was the last planet during uh, the, the antiquity. They couldn't see the other uh, Pluto, Neptune, and Uranus. So Saturn was the limit. And today we are wearing the same colors because of that, because Saturn is, the color is the indigo. So we, we connect to the cosmos when we use these colors. And Saturn is, is related, related to limits and also to sacrifice you do in order to fulfill your tasks. So to become a mom, we do some sacrifices, of course. We cannot run as we did before when we cannot sleep the same way we did before. We, we you have a lot of um, uh, sacrifice we have to do during pregnancy and after also. But it's such a, a world of discovery we can do. We can find new, new flavors for life, you know, Life gains a, a new, uh, new colors, a new, a new sight. Even before birth, everyone who raised a child knows that simple. Como é que é poça? É poça de água. Puddles. Simple puddles can be very fun. <laughs> we can just jump on it, not you know take care. We we begin to uh, enjoy life in a, such a different way if we allow this energy to come. And this energy comes during pregnancy. So you can welcome this new energy. It's the first time in life that a new spirit will be in with you in the same body. Uh, I have done um, a Kirlian photograph while I was pregnant of my first child. And I could see the, 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 her energy and it was just my, my thumb, but I could see in, and the aura outside uh, with lots of colors. And I could see a tiny thumb, like very close. That was her energy ar ar already. So I was like, I don't know, maybe six months, five months pregnant. So it's a new um, host that you invite to life and this can modify you. You can welcome this life and the way you deal with this idea of having a host, the way you deal of, with the idea of welcoming someone to life, it can change completely 
the experience we have. If you think it is too heavy, then it will be heavy. But if you think, oh, maybe if it's heavy, it can, it can be heavy, but you can talk, you know, we're going to strive. We're going to do something uh, better with that. We're going, we are together. We can bond and together we will be stronger. Then we can build something new, something uh, magic with this uh, connection. And it, it is a connection to life. Uh, in Brazil, when uh, the someone is pregnant, we say that it's the visit of the cegonha. What's the name? Stork. It's the visit of the stork. They say that kids are, are, um, are brought by the stork with the beak and then th there's a, a little bag with the baby inside. And I say, it's not, it's not a lie. It's not a, you know, just to uh, 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 avoid talking about sexuality with kids. That could be a little bit embar embarrassing. So we talk about the stork. No, the fact is that the, the babies come from heaven. That's from where they come. So we, we are there just to welcome them. And of course, the, the biggest work who should be a very attempt to receive this, this incoming life is the mom. So the biggest work is for her. She has to be, uh, she's prepared in the whole, the whole body, all the hormones, all the habits. She will have to change. But uh, when she's doing that, while she's doing that, we should be uh, like there for her in a way. Like we should understand this period as a pivotal period for the whole life experience because this adult will come to us. We come to build the society. She or he will be very important. If it's a, dest a destructive person, it can damage town tons of people. It, if it is a, an inspire, a, a person who will inspire a lot of people, like a Gandhi or um, Mandela, it can change reality on earth too. So it's in our hands, uh, the women who, get, who, who are pregnant, it is in our, our hands to, to bring a new world. And unfortunately, we have a lot of um, examples, mostly bad examples. But for example, I have uh, 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 a family, uh, the, young, the oldest boy after two or three abortions that the mom had to make because they, the, the, pa the partner, they, they weren't married, they weren't together. So uh, she, he didn't want to assume the baby, so she had to, to, to make some abortions. And finally, she said, "No, this one I'm going to have." But the father didn't want, and it was like a fight. And the the boy came, and you know, difficult period. And then they married, and they have another boy. But the first boy, when he got married, he got very violent to her. Uh, wife when she was pregnant and it was the worst period for the relationship he he wanted to beat her and to do bad stuff with her and the other boy who was um ch he was uh chose uh, they they accepted they wanted an uh, another baby he's totally fine and it's the same family it's the same you know parents so we can see a difference. We can really test testimony what's happening. I know everyone, each one of you will have some examples. But even if the moment is difficult, women can always find a way. I like very much that movie, um, Life is Beautiful. It's a little bit piegas. I don't know the name. Simple. S simplest. Simplest. Yeah. But it's beautiful the way uh, the guy, the father is raising his boy in a concentration camp. And it's very, it's the worst situation that you want to your, to your kids. 
you know. But he creates a whole scenario, a whole uh, story, and it everything became uh, a joke, a play. And I, I bet even for him, it was less uh, heavy because the world he created for his boy, he also inhabited this world. So uh, the boy didn't feel the, the madness of the concentration camp. They were like in a parallel world. And that we can create. It's not, oh, Carla, you're not talking about reality. Reality is hard. You know, we have to win our lives and we have to eat. Of course, we have to eat and live. But in the same reality, there are a lot of different realities. And we can always uh, raise our reality if you raise our consciousness, if we raise our thoughts, our feelings, and perhaps trying to see the, the good, the good in each experience that will become, uh, will take you to another level of life after that, even during suffering. So it's, it's a lot of work. I know it's beautiful that you have, uh, at, in Turkey, you have these psychotherapists i know you you know what i'm talking about and it's so beautiful that the whole family you you the couple is dedicated to that it's really a sacrifice so uh we need these we need people who are able to do sacrifices to 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 in, to upgrade uplift this period of life these uh if we understand the, the importance of this period and we put energy on that, we can really change the reality of our, of our world. That's why we, we funded ANEP Brazil. That's why we funded um, Prenatal Alliance and also OMAP. And I know you are, every, each one of you believes in that. And otherwise, you won't be here. <laughs> How is my time, Laura? Yes, I, I think we have already some questions here. I'm in, in the moderator's room, so I can. Yes, yes. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Uh, what are the questions here? Okay. Mm. Can you please, Dr. Shitao, can you please share details on energy therapy? I don't know if it's for me. Or if it was for you. Now, love to listen to you, my dear Carla. Okay. With power comes responsibility. And some, many people do not like that. Yeah, I addressed that already, Mars. Thank you. You remembered me to talk about Saturn. Okay. Mm. Carla, can you please share something about the difference of lives of babies with normal birth and planet scissors in reference to astrology? Yes. We can, we can see uh, in some uh, in the chart if the the person what happened during birth, and sometimes we see that it was an invasion, it was um, an intervention, and the the person follows with that intervention. Uh, that's uh, some people even ask. And astrologist, astrologers to do the chart in order to plan the cesarean, to plan the birth. I said, no, it's not. It, we, we should not use astrology for that. We, this is so uh, weird. And I have a case here in Brazil, uh, 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 an artist, very famous. She, she wanted to avoid the sign of Virgo to her daughter. And she had, uh, uh, she wanted to do it before. So, but the, the baby came in a, before the date she planned, while the moon was in Virgo. <laughs> so she could not manipulate the date. She had that, ener that energy anyway. And it, it, it's even worse because the, 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 the manipulation, you know, the, the energy of not being able to choose is on this girl's chart. So, yes, we can. We can see that on the chart. Yesha, 
Could you please shed some light or on prenatal educator concept, what are the things a mother can teach when a baby is in the womb? Well, we, we don't address any specific theme to prenatal education. She will tell, she will teach what she is, what she, how she deals with life. Uh, Laura just gave a be beautiful lecture about how can we uh, in, um, interact with the elements, water, fire, air, and earth. And so the way she, she eats, the way she drinks, the way she interacts with life, the way she looks at the sun in the morning, how she meditates, how, how uh, she can elevate herself to this realm of, it's a miracle, you know, getting pregnant is a miracle uh it's life itself so it's about her connection to life i i have heard about people who teach newborn babies with letters and numbers it, yes it can be done because the 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 kid is beginning so everything is fresh it's not impossible but we we uh, intervene on a, on a field that other subtle bodies are being built. So the, the head always attracts the attention. The eyes will get, get the attention first. But there are other senses, not only the five senses we, we know, but we can go higher if we just allow the, ch the child to be what she is, what, even in the womb. So it's more, much more about the connection and to be sure that you are there, that the, the mother is there for the baby, for the fetus, for the embryo. Uh, and sometimes, of course, we have to inform, oh, today uh, mom and dad had a fight. It's not, it's not about you. We're managing. We're trying to move from the home of your ancestors your, your grandma and grandpa now we want to have our own life and it's good it's because of you but it's not that you're causing it you're motivating us to have a new life so we are kind of opening myself to the new life you're bringing to us so it's all about connection it's not about uh content of what you're going to teach it's the way the mother behaves and it's the way she deals with life, if, with life itself, and the way she connects with the baby. That's the most important. Okay, I think we finished. Uh, no, ah, okay. Minau Singau from India. I love you guys. The example you shared about the two kids from the couple, the elder one turned violent and the planet one turned it to be nice. Once the mother figures out the reason, she might feel guilty. What can be done then? Yes, um, I think the, the power of the mother continues in somehow. So she can connect to, to the soul of these, um, of these uh, bad boy, for example. And try to talk to, to her, try, try to talk to him, to the soul, um, and explain. But sometimes the most difficult part is not that. It's just that the woman doesn't want to feel guilty. So she doesn't connect to this energy. She, she, she cannot see the truth. Um, the truth will free yourself right? Everybody knows it's on the Bible. <laughs> the truth can liberate us. So it's, I believe that life is uh, uh, quantic. So once someone really connects uh, with the feeling uh, of a special moment, this energy, we can visit the conception, we can visit the, the, the life in the womb and talk to this the soul of this this incoming baby 
uh, that's that's now an adult. So I think consciousness and love can heal. I really agree on that. I'm psychotherapist, so I see people every day that were not well welcomed, and you know, there's a work to do, but it's possible. I really believe. 